Today we're going to be discussing a 13 point maintenance checklist. This is great if you're a new homeowner. It could also help you save money on repairs in the future because you've maintained the home. Let's get right into this video. Come on. You're probably going to be using the air conditioner for at least 10 months out of the year. So the air conditioner is going to be constantly in use. So it's really important that the air conditioner gets inspected at least once a year. You want to make sure that it's clean, that it's working functionally like it's supposed to. I actually forgot to clean it one year and water started collecting. I had no idea until I started seeing it dripping down from, from the walls, from the ceiling. So you want to make sure you're not going to be that same person. With that said, it's easy to forget about the air filter, but what you're going to want to do is change the air filter every two to three months out of the year. Take that out and you put a new air filter in. It's easy to forget about it because it's not something that you typically would think about, but keep it top of mind. If you're in a single family home, that it's probably wise, or maybe even an apartment, that it's wise to get an exterminator that comes and treats your home at least every three months or six months. And this has nothing to do with how tidy it is, but it's so easy for roaches, for other bugs to creep in to the lanai area, for example, if you just leave a door open. And you just want to make sure that your home is treated because once they're inside of the house, they breed very fast. And that's not something you want them to do. Now, if you have dogs like I do, I ask them to be careful with the chemicals inside of the home. And so what they do is they place the chemicals underneath the sink and inside of the stockets, right? Just to make sure that the dogs are safe and there's no way for them to get even close to the chemicals. Since we're talking about extermination, I'm gonna segue into getting an exclusion, which is something that I recommend you do. An exclusion is much more of a preventative measure. And what it is, is preventing wildlife from getting inside of your house by making sure that holes, whether they're on the roof or on the side of a house, are closed off, right? So they're gonna come in, they're gonna check the house, to see if there's any spaces that wildlife can get through in your house and they'll close it off. We're outside in the Lanai area. What I wanted to point out is the caged area. And if you're someone that just bought a single family home, hopefully you have a Lanai area that's caged. If not, then maybe you wanna think about getting that done as soon as you can afford it. And in my case, I'm right by a lake here. It really does help to keep out alligators, snakes, some of the mosquitoes, roaches, and other bugs. What you do wanna do occasionally is to check out the screen and make sure it's in good working order. I don't know if you can see this, but the other day I checked and there's actually a hole in my screen. And what happened is a bird tried to get through the screen. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what happened. I rescued the bird and the bird is okay. And so it makes sense to regularly check your screen just to make sure that things are working. The papers in the house, in the back and the front of the house, you might want to think about getting them sealed in order to prevent any UV damage, loss of color. Also, it lessens the chances for weeds to grow in between these cracks here. Otherwise, if you don't get it sealed, you're gonna be pulling out these weeds all the time, probably on a weekly basis in the summertime. I've had a video out that talked about fire ant hills and how you don't wanna step on them because the fire ants are very malicious and it can hurt. So what you wanna do is occasionally is walk your property to inspect it for fire ant hills. I've luckily for me never had any on this property here. Houses in Florida are very prone to termites. What you wanna do is get termite protection for the ones that are subterranean. They're also the worst kind. They're the ones that go through the earth and attack the wood and the structure of your home. And if you don't have termite protection, the chances of your house getting infested with termites is pretty great. Because you're in Florida, you're in a tropical area, it's very wet here. If a house gets infested with termites, it already loses its marketability if you were to sell your real estate property and you don't want to get to that point. So I think it's very well worth it to spend the money on protection, also peace of mind. I think it's easy to forget about cleaning the gutters. But that is an absolute must, especially if you have a lot of trees around like I do. Right? I would need to make sure that my gutters are cleaned at least once a year. Because if they're not, then the water doesn't drain properly. It has really no place to go. And what happens is it can damage the exterior and the interior of the home even. Depending what your setup is with the HOA or maybe you won't have an HOA at all if you bought a single family home. What you're going to want to do is make sure that your trees, especially palm trees, are very well trimmed. A lot of times 
means the fees that you're paying for the community covers the maintenance. But in some cases, even if you're paying a fee, the maintenance may not be covered by the community. And so it might be on you. What I want to show you is palm trees, especially those have to be kept up on a yearly basis. See this palm tree right here is where we got it trimmed probably about six months ago. And we try to do it every year. If you don't do it, it can be hazardous, fronds, dry up and if they fall down somebody's underneath it it can hurt them also it's this is an area where a lot of the wildlife actually just likes to hide out whether they're rats or even snakes so it's a good idea to keep that part of the palm tree really clean you're really going to want to power wash your roof every maybe two three four years it really is going to depend on how many trees you have around your property i tend to have a lot of trees and palm trees around so my roof usually gets power washed about every two yeah two years i would say it'll keep the towels a little healthier looking if you have a driveway or boardwalk probably going to have to power wash it every year in the summertime it rains so much with the rain a lot of dirt gets collected on the driveway and the boardwalk and it really starts looking a bit greasy after a while so i get it washed about twice a year i typically do it in january and then right after the summertime if you have a pool in your house you're going to want to make sure it gets serviced whether you do it yourself or you hire somebody like i do so i have somebody that comes here on a weekly basis it cost me about 95 dollars per month so he comes here weekly he checks the chlorine level makes sure it's at a perfect level he cleans out the filters he also vacuums the uh the bottom of the pool to ensure that it's nice and clean do me a favor and like this video. Now, if you're looking for real estate in Sarasota County or Manatee County, I would love to team up with you. Call me, email me anytime. And thank you so much for watching until the very end. I always appreciate it when you do. Take care.